Hello, be right with you. How you doing? Food is an unspoken love language. Words Naila Queen and Natasha Brown Wainwright live by. If you are a chef that um, looking for a place to pop up, um, we are here for you. They're working to put more cooks in the kitchen through the Displaced Chefs Project. That's what they're getting, a platform to be able to showcase their talent. The project's goal, to give Displaced Chefs a place to be a chef. Small and large restaurants closed because of the pandemic. And a lot of those restaurants haven't been able to recover. But this is a second chance. Whether they want to start another restaurant in the future or just um, show people that they're still here. So, uh -huh. like that. Naila and Natasha are part of the Culinary Queens Collective, a group of five ladies in the culinary and lifestyle industries working to help chefs rebuild. It's hard to feel like it, you're, you're building something when you feel alone. So when they come on board, they know that they have us, the sisters, that's going to support them. If selected to be a part of the project, five chefs will get a chance to host a series of pop-up shops at the end of every month inside Be More Me with Pride. I want to make the cafe their restaurant. I want to make my kitchen their kitchen so that they can do what they love to do. We're going to be there cheering them on the whole time. And what they gain is the confidence of knowing that, hey, I can do this. And if you're a displaced chef and you're thinking about applying to this program, all you have to do is make sure you have your menu set, you know your target audience, and have your budget set. Applications will be accepted until the middle of August. For now, reporting in your corner, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.